So the first product I'm taking today is the Cover FX Anti-Acne Mattifying Primer. It's kind of a silicone texture and it's supposed to fill in your pores and fine lines. And it's just a really nice consistency. This is just a sample, but I'm really liking it so far. For my foundation today, I'm using one of my favorites just because of how light it is. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. It's super full coverage. and I'm using the shade Light 42 and just blending that in with a Real Techniques blending sponge. And I'm just using my absolute favorite concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade number 15. Just applying this under my eyes and I probably applied a little bit too much under there, but that's okay. Just blend it in with your Real Techniques blending sponge. I also applied some on any blemishes that I might have. To set under my eyes and my face, I'm using this MAC Prep and, Pi Prep and Prime Powder. Before I put it on though, I just like to blend out the under eye because I do get creasing quite easily and then I put the powder on right away. And also just applying some to any problem areas that I might have to really mattify those areas. To prime my eyes, I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot just on my finger and blending that over my eyelid. The first shadow I am taking is Lemon Drop from Makeup Geek, and I'm just taking this on a Smith 235 brush. And this brush has a really nice tapered tip to it, so I love this for doing cut creases. I just hold it at kind of an upward angle and then just cut my crease. And then I'm just taking White Lies from Makeup Geek on any fluffy brush that you have and I'm just using this to blend out. So basically just apply it above the yellow shade and it's a really easy way to do a nice fade. Then to add a little bit more definition into the very bottom of the cut crease, I'm using Chickadee from Makeup Geek on a Luxie Beauty flat definer brush and I'm just applying that right at the bottom and then using tiny flicking motions to blend it in. Now to clean up the lid and to give a nice tacky base for the next shadow we're going to apply, just using soft ochre on this Luxie Beauty brush, just cleaning up that crease and you want to do this slowly so you don't get any skipping and you get a nice precise line. And the next eyeshadow that I'm taking is a duochrome from Makeup Geek. It's so pretty, it's voltage. And I'm just taking this on the same flat brush that I put the soft ochre paint pot on with and just patting this all over my lid. For my eyeliner, I'm using Suva Beauty Hydra Liner in Dance Party. Honestly, everything from Suva Beauty is awesome, but these UV Hydra Liners are seriously amazing and everyone needs them. <laughs> to outline the yellow, I'm just using this Architect Eyeliner from LA Splash Cosmetics. It's a super fine point, so I love the little tiny flick you can get with it. To add a little bit more definition into the crease, I'm using Gold Digger Glitter from Lit Cosmetics with their glitter adhesive on my Smith Cosmetics 202 liner brush. I absolutely love how coral pinks look with yellow, so I'm using Covet Blush from Makeup Geek. It is a little bit dark, but with a light hand, it gives such a nice natural flush to the cheeks. And to highlight, I'm using Voltage on my Anastasia highlighting brush. I absolutely love this brush for highlighting, and I freaking love this eyeshadow for highlighting too. For the lips, you could honestly do anything, like a nude would be nice, or Karina from ABH would be awesome, like a nice coral pink. Um, but here's two options, so you could either do Gilded from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which would be a little bit more natural, but I am wearing Xenon from Lime Crime Makeup, and this lipstick is amazing. It goes on super, super pigmented and just really opaque gold. It's pretty sick. And to set my face, I'm using my NYX Matte Setting Spray. Definitely one of my summer favorites. I use it pretty much every day. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below what team you are. And also comment down below the coolest Pokemon you have caught so far.
so yeah, that is the Team Instinct tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, YouTube, obviously, and Facebook. Have a great day, guys. Bye.